Hi everyone, I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we're going to discuss microbial growth and nutrients. We have covered macro elements in our previous video. In this video, we're going to cover micro elements or micro nutrients. First, let me differentiate between macro and micro elements. What are macro elements and what are micro elements? As the name indicates, macro means large and micro means smaller. So, macro nutrients means those are the elements or those are the nutrients which are required in large amount and micro means the nutrients which are required in smaller amounts. So, that means micro nutrients indicates the elements that are required in smaller amount. And what are those? These are manganese, zinc, cobalt, then you have molybdenum, then nickel and copper. These are some of the important micronutrients which are required by bacteria or microbes. And these are known as micronutrients. So, let me write it down. So, these are the important micronutrients and I want you to remember that. And they are required they are needed by most of the microbial cells. Now, let, let's talk about how these uh, microbes, they fulfill this requirement. Usually, microbes fulfill this requirement by, by the source of growth media because they are present in the, gro the growth media as well as in the contaminated glassware that you use to grow the bacteria you can have these compounds present in the smaller quantity and that is good enough for a bacteria to grow. Now, I'm showing you, suppose you have the bacterial cell that you're trying to grow and you have this media. In this case, suppose I'm using LB. LB will have a specific concentration of macronutrients, but it will have enough micronutrients so that bacteria can fulfill its requirement. And uh, micronutrients they can also be present in the glassware that is why i'm i'm saying contaminated contaminated means contaminated by the micronutrients and in nature they are also present in nature so microorganisms they are growing in natural environmental conditions so they are present in nature so that bacteria can grow microbes can grow and utilize those uh, trace not trace but small or micro elements from the natural sources. Next, what are the functions? They are important for enzyme activity. They are, used as, uh, they are present as a cofactor. They stabilize the protein structure. And they also help in the catalysis. And uh, one of the important, I would say, example is zinc. You will see zinc present. You will see the presence of zinc in many enzymes. One of the important enzymes is MMPs. I'm giving you the example of human enzymes here, but we'll also discuss the bacterial ones. So, suppose this is your matrix metalloprotease enzyme. It will have the catalytic domain, and in the catalytic domain, you'll have that specific micronutrient, which is zinc in this case. And it is important for degrading the substrate. And in, in the line, you can see the substrate. Now, in case of E. coli, you have aspartate, carbo, carbamoyl transferase. So, this enzyme is also zinc dependent. So, let me write it, write it down. So, this is the name of the enzyme and it is important. Uh, it is important for the E. coli and it's zinc dependent. Another micronutrient which is manganese, it's also present in ion, ionic, form, ionic form and it is also important for the functioning of the enzymes, specifically for those enzymes which are performing the function of transferring the phosphate group. And then the example of uh, molybdenum ion, where you have uh, these uh, particular chemicals used in the process of nitrogen fixation. So, they are important in case of the nitrogen fixation. And then you have uh, cobalt, which is important for the vitamin B12. So, this was all about the micronutrients. We have discussed macronutrients in our previous video. I would suggest you to watch that video so that you can cover the important macro elements, micro elements for the microbes and this topic will be covered. We will cover more interesting uh, topics in this particular series. 
because this particular series will be focused on uh, microbial nutrition, microbial growth conditions, and we'll, we'll discuss a lot of important and interesting topics. So I want you to stay tuned and watch all those videos so that you can understand the microbiology better.